Like a mixture between bowling and soccer. It's more like soccer and football. Goalball is, um, it's a three-on-three -three goalkeeping sport, and it's actually the only sport that's designed for athletes who are visually impaired. The most noticeable difference between goalball and most other sports. It's all about the audience has to be quiet because it's a game of hearing. Quiet, please. I love the game. That's number one. And when I first heard about it myself in 1986, I thought, oh my God, this is going to be so boring. It was developed as a means to help blinded World War II veterans in their rehabilitation. Object of the game is to take that ball, ball that's ball about the size time. of a basketball, maybe a little bigger, that has holes drilled in it with bells, and you roll it down to the other end and try to get it into that net behind the left wing and right wing. It rolls pretty hard and pretty fast. It's crazy. I wouldn't want to be on the receiving end of a goal ball hit. The big, fast ones. Those ones are deadly. There is really no good way to describe how intense the game can get. It is very funny when you hear people go, ooh, that had to hurt. If you look out in the stands, you physically see people tensing up, you see them mouthing words, you see them silently cheering. The minute they score a goal, you can cut loose if you're cheering. If you can get out there and play the sport, then I would say go do it. Experience what it's like to be one of us out there. The visually impaired can play or the sighted can play because we all wear blindfolds. Just to orient yourself without being able to see the court that you're playing on. And then with the introduction of a ball that you can't see, you have to listen to it to try to catch it. It's just unbelievable.